Won't you take me to Trundle Town? Won't you take me to Trundle Town? All right. So this morning, uh, I was inspired by one Jesse Gordon, Jesse Path of Light, uh, to go take a walk. Uh, and the reason I went on this walk was to physically measure the distance between lines of longitude. Uh, and that measurement should help us work out whether lines of longitude diverge like a fan, uh, like they would if we lived on the AE map, or whether they converge towards the poles like they would on a globe. So I took my little GPS unit and strapped a GoPro to my measuring wheel and recorded the whole thing. Uh, and you can go watch that GoPro footage in all its 1080p glory by clicking the link in the description. Uh, it's not very exciting. Uh, I've also uploaded the GPS log to my GitHub account. Uh, if anyone wants to check it out, uh, link is in the description again. And it was also Jesse Gordon that found this road, uh, which isn't too far from me. Uh, and the reason he picked this one is because it runs perfectly east-west. Right, so let's make some predictions for how each model calculates the distance between lines of longitude. Uh, we'll do the AE map first because it's pretty simple. The circles of latitude get bigger as you move away from the North Pole. So the distance between longitude lines gets bigger as a function of your distance from the North Pole. So it's 10,000 kilometers from the North Pole to the equator. And I was at about 34 south, uh, which makes me 13,755.82 kilometers from the North Pole. And that's the radius of my circle of latitude. To get the circumference of that circle, I just need to multiply by 2 pi and I get about 86,000 kilometers. And then divide that by 360 to get a distance per degree of longitude. Uh, or divide that by 60 again to get a distance per minute of longitude. Uh, and you'll see that on the AE map at my latitude, it should be about four kilometers per arc minute. On a globe, however, the, the line of latitude is a function of your distance from the axis of rotation. So the radius of the globe is 6371 kilometers. Uh, so my distance from the axis is 5,294 kilometers. So the circumference around my line of latitude is only about 33,000 kilometers compared to 86,000 for the AE map. So a massive difference. So on a globe, one degree of longitude for me is about 92 kilometers, uh, while one arc minute is 1,540 meters. Right, so what were the coordinates at both ends of the run? Uh, well, the starting coordinates were pretty solid. I had the GPS unit sitting there for a few minutes while I set up the uh, trundle wheel, uh, but I only stopped at the end point uh, for about two minutes. So here's a really zoomed in graph of the longitude at the end point. Uh, so this is me sort of reaching the end, uh, and then the flat bit is where I've stopped, and the bit on the right is heading back to the start point. And you can see it's pretty stable after about 90 seconds. Uh, so that's the longitude that I'll use. Right, so here are the coordinates of both ends. Uh, and as I said, the latitude is nearly perfectly east-west. So we just have to subtract one longitude from the other and we get 0 0.693 arc minutes. Nice. And if you can't be asked watching the GoPro video, uh, here are some screenshots at the end of each leg. So 1,076.2 meters outbound uh, and 1,075 on the return. That's a plus or minus of 0.06%, uh, which I was extremely happy with. All right, almost at the end. Uh, the measured distance was 1,075.6 meters and the difference in the longitudes was 0 0.693 arc minutes, which equates to 1,552 meters per arc minute in reality. And I kind of hate how these are always a bit of an anticlimax, uh, but surprise, surprise, the measurement in reality was nowhere near the AE prediction and less than 1% off the globe prediction. So who would have thunk it? When you measure the Earth, it turns out to be a globe.